So let's direct our attention to the board, just giving you the breakdown of what the United States considers poverty, right? The 2022 poverty guidelines is something that I looked up on Google to determine, okay, what is actually considered poor according to the government. Now, I have my own standard of what's considered poor or broke, right? And in my opinion, it's anything under 30K. Why do I say that? Because I've lived my life mostly in this realm, right? under 30k a year revenue parents under you know mom somewhere around 30 40 k and you're paycheck to paycheck basically right now that's not excluding other folks who are making six figures or high five figures and you feel broke right or you're living paycheck to paycheck negative cash flow break even whatever it is so it's not excluding you guys either it's just showing you here's who i'm focused on right here's who i'm looking to attract right? Because it truly doesn't matter how much money you make. It's about how you steward. It's about how you manage. It's about how you keep what you do make, become a good steward over it. Now you can be trusted with more, right? And by improving the income while maintaining those good habits, it's a recipe for financial freedom, my friend. Okay. No arguments there. So this is just showing you the, the guidelines, right? What the government says, you know, if you're single, making around $13,590, you're, you're poverty, right? You're poor, okay? A family of two making only 18,000 a year, you're poor. Family of three, 23,000. Family of four, 27,000, you're poor. My finance geek standard, gross income, anything under 30K, whether you're single, family of two, single mom with two, three kids, anything under 30K, you're poor, in my opinion right? You're broke, right? It's tough. There's whether you're living in the city or the outer city, whatever state you're in, listen, under 30k a year is not somewhere you want to stay. So what is the intent here? The, the intent is to help you find opportunities to increase your skills, gifts, and talents that you've already been given, that you've already been gifted with, since birth, their skills, gifts, and talents that you have. And all I want you to do is get you in a position where we can share and market those skills, gifts, and talents, get paid at a higher amount in the marketplace, combined with financial coaching, consulting, financial strategies, good financial habits, recipe for financial freedom in a, what, five to seven year window. Even if you did it in 10, I don't think you'd be mad. Right? If you're 40 years old and you hit financial freedom by 50, you're not going to be upset with me. My goal is to try and get it within five to seven years, no matter what the age is, whether I'm dealing with an 18-year-old or an 88-year-old. Five to seven years is the goal to achieve financial freedom. Even if we fail miserably and do it in 10, I don't think you'll be upset with me unless you're the 88-year-old. And by then, if you're still rocking in, in this land in 88 I'm sorry, I just wasn't born in your time. 26 years old, didn't get a chance to reach you, so I got to you much later in the game. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. The the poor, right, or the broke folks, people who lack knowledge will perish, okay? The Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So if I can put myself in a position to gain more knowledge despite my age, Surrender what I think I know about money. Surrender what I think I know about the economy. Surrender what I think I know about scarcity and not enough money being in the marketplace. I don't have to argue any of those things. I just look at the numbers, right? That's, that's, that's my approach. I just want to look at your numbers. Put me to work, 26 years old, healthy as can be. Put me to work and let's go have some fun, right? Let's go achieve financial freedom. Solve 90% of your problems, then we can focus on the real problems, the financial traumas that you faced when you were six years old, the, the abandonment, the abuse, the domestic violence you experienced, the, you know, obstacles and challenges, the, the, the real inner core stuff, the faith, the spirituality. That's the real stuff once we get past the numbers, right? But in the meantime, if you're all focused on the numbers and then you're complaining, right? And you're doing this and you're not doing, you're not positioning yourself. You're not acquiring the right information, the right knowledge. You're sitting on the couch watching Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Housewives of Atlanta and all these different things. I mean, lack of knowledge, you will perish. Pretty simple, right? 
I don't want to perish. I don't want to see you perish, but it's your decision at the end of the day. So with that being said, here are the guidelines. Here's what's going on. Here's who I'm looking to target. I'm looking to target people who want to change. They want to improve. They want to get better. That's how you found my videos. That's how you found other people's videos. And you're taking those necessary steps. Now with that, what the finance geek ministry has been able to do over the last four years, right? I created a seven step process. In this seven step process, it's simply exchanging social currency for financial coaching. Again, this process, no money is required, but work is required. That's my slogan. No money is required in the finance geek ministry, but work is required in the finance geek ministry. In the kingdom, work is required, okay? Don't need money, so you need to be willing to work, right? That is a mandate, that is a protocol, that is a regulation, that is a law. You must work, okay? What does work mean, Denzel? Work means to become who you are, right? That might just have been a paradigm shift for those of you who are thinking what work is, right? Change your definition, change your way of thinking around the word work. Work means to become who you are, right? So if you're becoming who you are and you're walking in your purpose, then you will have abundance and be a cheerful giver. My goodness, recipe, the recipe, love it. So the seven step process, right, involves you exchanging your social currency. That's likes, subscribes, that's comments, that's shares, that's testimonials, that's reviews, right? And then a combination of getting your numbers in line, sending me your numbers, filling out the spreadsheet, right? Letting me know your goals, story, all that good stuff. And then I exchange that info for my time, which people pay me for. And I'm giving it to you so that I can pull you up from the dirt, okay? If you're in this if you're in this category here, you're you're low income, right? Broke, poor, busted. Listen. I already know. Society has already written you off. Your family's written you off. Friends written you off. They don't see you. They don't see the potential you have, but a stranger like me sees the potential. But do you see it and do you want it? That's the key. I can't force that. I can't inspire that. I can't motivate that. That's got to come from within. In terms of accessing the information, boom, that's where I come in. Happy to serve, my friend. Happy to serve. So that's one of the things that Finance Geek Ministry has been able to do. Second thing is created a course, Finance Geek Ministry course. In this course, it's going to teach you about jurisdiction. It's going to teach you about the law. It's going to teach you how money works. Okay. And on top of that course, it's a digital evergreen type of a course. Never goes out of style. Always remains relevant. Then there's something called the Ecclesia Gathering. Okay. The Ecclesia Gathering is simply us coming together in a group community-like setting via Zoom virtually, roughly two times a month, recorded sessions that you can watch the replay, right? And you're able to share your ideas, you're able to express your pain, struggles, obstacles, challenges, and then in addition to me providing support, you're now getting the full backing and support of the entire Finance Geek Ministry. It's not just one guy, it's a multitude of people in this ministry. Right. So those are the three main things. And then there's the YouTube channel, which is just the content. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime to sit there and watch material, exchange Netflix, Hulu, Disney, TV, Jeopardy, news, exchange all of that for content that's going to better your life. You throw me in there along with some other content creators to improve your overall lifestyle. My goodness. Recipe, my friend. Recipe. So those are the four things that are in place. All you have to do, reach out directly right? Description links are in the description below to get a hold of me, to contact me, right? You hit my website. All the stuff is there below. Once you've done that, you're now in my process. You're now going to receive additional value and information to take those next steps.